if you're this broadcaster who was a former player, former coach, disgruntled because you didn't, uh, you weren't kept on the current staff there at Wake Forest, you're not going to give information that is not going to be helpful to the other team. You're giving information that will help them and damage Wake Forest. You can't act like, oh, you know, what we got, you know, we already knew or we didn't need to know it. But you did get stolen information, right? And did you use it? No, no, we didn't. You know, we saw it. We didn't use it. You better get your story straight here because the ACC will do a deep dive here. And this is a story that the media loves. That's another thing to keep in mind. If the media is consuming a story, then that's where you have to have all hands on deck because now they want more answers. People are curious about this. There are other stories that we could be more fascinated about, but we're not. We like this. Why? Stolen information. Disgruntled employee. Did somebody use this information? Is this a widespread practice? Does this happen often? Not just in the ACC. Wake Forest football. Is West Point involved in it? Louisville, Bobby Petrino, Heisman Trophy winner Lamar Jackson. Who benefited from this? Was money exchanged? And I go back to Deflategate. Why did Deflategate stay front and center? Why did it blow up in the first place? Well, you have to have certain items for the media to say, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write about this. We're going to cover this. We're going to investigate this. I have the AFC title game. I got Brady. I got Belichick. I got Andrew Luck. Chris Mortensen. I got star power here. There's stuff going on. The NFL responds. Brady says, I never did anything. He does a local radio show. I didn't do anything. But it's the Patriots. And then all of a sudden, 48 hours later, deflate gate. But you had to have star power there. You had to have a reason for people to want to click on these articles, to tune in to a broadcast. That's what it's about. We'll sell you stuff. Are you buying the stuff? And then if you are buying the stuff, if this is Alex Smith and Andy Reid, you're not, you're not consuming it, right? Phillip Rivers and the Chargers. Eh, give him a $25,000 fine. Tom Brady, Patriots, Belichick, cheaters. Hmm, again? Well, we got to investigate. We got to spend $3 million on this. That's, that's how these stories sort of unfold. That's why Wake Forest is a big story, because there's a lot more involved in this, and there could be other schools involved in this. Are, are people going to be fired? Are people going to be sanctioned? School's going to be sanctioned. What? It, it's just starting. I said this yesterday. It just feels like it might have been a one-off. Here's a former assistant coach helping a buddy who was an assistant coach at Louisville, and they used to coach together at Wake Forest. How somebody wouldn't see that there's a connection with this and the fact that they found this information, game plan. And if you know the system, and here's another thing that some people brought up to me yesterday. You know, teams do their scouting. They break down film. They know tendencies. Well, if I said to you, when they're in this formation, they do two things. They either run a draw play or they throw a screen pass to the right. And you know that in advance? You're golden. How can that help? not help you? You had some defensive players this year playing against Chip Kelly and the Niners, and they said, we, we know what their formations are. They don't do much different, but this is taking it a step further. When they're in this formation, in the red zone, they do this. That is a big benefit for these teams. But how many teams got this information? That's what I want to know. It's a paper trail. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. 